Spines. Spines. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I forgot something. I forgot something. Now I'm really ready. Now I'm really ready. They're stealing our soda supplies. Hurry up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. May I? Like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Oh, look, it's Sandy. I mean, oh, look, Sandy. Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob and his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick stepping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is, is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor, cause I'm in a mood. And my mood is coming. Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! 
Ah, so SpongeBob and Patrick managed to rewind their climactic karate clash with the power of cosmic jelly. I'm gonna burst your bubble! Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off, but that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... We're taking back this ship, Prawn! And my pineapple! What's the matter, Rectangle Boy? Pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank! The only thing I will be walking is the road of friendship, and that road leads right to Victory Town, so bring it on! <laughs> Oh! 
Snails the monster kidnapped! Look! It's scary! So how do we save Gary without that monster snail seeing us? Gary is the monster snail! Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy! What is Halloween without one more good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. Uh -huh. 
de quoi, Hog Totally uncoral. Gosh, Pearl. I mean, Princess Pearl. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake.
Party, huh? Well, I'll show you. This buffet is all you can beat. Make your cake, good sir. This buffet is all you can beat. So good. I think you need a little break from the dance. Need a little break from the dance floor. Good me, Jane. No bad tickets for the guests. I like the frosting. Need a little break from the dance floor. <laughs> Hold it right there, Top Shoe. Put that jelly in the belly. Throw the ball without Twitchy, huh? Well, I'll show you.
need a little break from the dance floor. Slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin. becomes of a glove without love. I'm gonna go with G. <laughs> Stop smothering him! It's time I realized even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, glovey glove. SpongeBob must once again rescue his best friend from the clutches of a maniacal mascot. I took down Glovey once, and I can do it again!
It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. A Squidward action figure? Even better! You have a world of friends! You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting blank stare. Thank you. I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. I will never leave you out of my sight ever again, Patrick. You're my best friend ever. Don't worry, Glovey Glove. I'll get Bikini Bottom back to normal and get lots of visitors back into Glove World to love you just like we do. SpongeBob? <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His Royal Heine finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your can-do attitude enabled her! Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? Silence! I am now the queen of the ocean, and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes! <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip-ups for years now, but I have had it! Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly! Enough is enough! You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. <laughs> You're really trying your best, aren't you? Oh!
Word. I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah, what happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. <laughs> As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. After today, there's only one thing I could wish for, and that is... That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! Patrick, no! no!